Hello and welcome to fourth lecture in our first course, the Data Scientist Toolbox in Data Science Specialization series. Previously, we talked about data science, big data, role of data scientist, and examples of messy data. In this lecture, we will talk about data science process. So, what is data science process? The data science process is a structured approach to solving data related problems. It involves several stages from problem definition to model deployment. Here's a brief uh, overview of the data science process in R. Uh, first step is uh, uh, to clearly define the problem you are trying to solve. This involves understanding the business problem, identifying the stakeholders and specifying the data requirements. Um, second step, uh, once uh, you have defined the problem, the next step is to collect the data. This may involve obtaining data from various sources such as databases, APIs or web scrapping. After collecting the data, the next step is to explore and analyze the data. This involves cleaning the data, uh, summarizing the data using descriptive uh, statistics and uh, visualizing the data using graphs and charts. Once uh, the data is explored, the next step is to prepare the data for analysis. Uh, this involves uh, transforming the data into a format that is uh, suitable for analysis such as reshaping the data, creating new variables and filtering out irrelevant data. Uh, the next step is to build the model. With the data prepared, uh, the next step is to build the model. This involves uh, selecting a modeling technique that is appropriate for the problem at hand and using R to develop the model. Once the model is built, the next step is to e evaluate its uh, performance. This involves uh, testing uh, the model on a holdout uh, data set and, uh, and assessing uh, uh, its accuracy and uh, robustness. Finally, if the model is deemed uh, satisfactory, the next step is to deploy the model. This may involve integrating the model into a production system, creating a user interface or providing documentation for end users. R is a popular programming language for data science because it provides a wide range of tools for data manipulation, visualization, and statistical modeling. R also has a large community of users and a wealth of resources such as packages and tutorials that can be used throughout the data science process. Here is an example of a research study that follows the R uh, data science process in R, which is a uh, predicting house prices using regression models, a case study in R. The first step is to define the problem. The goal of this uh, study is to build uh, regression models that can accurately predict house prices based on uh, a set of predictive variables. In this step, we are defining the problem we want to solve. Specifically, we want to build uh, regression models that can be uh, accurately predict house prices based on a set of predictive variables. The goal of this study is to help people make informed decisions when buying or selling a house. Accurately predicting the price of a house is important because it can affect how much someone is willing to pay for a house, how much a seller can expect to receive for their house, and whether a lender is willing to provide a mortgage for a given property. To achieve this goal, we also need to identify the predictive variables that are mostly uh, that are most strongly related uh, to house prices. In the case of the Boston housing data set, these predictive vari variables might include things like the crime rate in the neighborhood, the average number of rooms per dwelling, the distance uh, to employment centers, and so on. Once we have identified the problem and identified the relevant predictive variables, then we can proceed with the next step, which is to collect the data. Uh, the study uses the Boston housing data set which is available in R as part of the mass package. In, in this step of data science process, we need to collect the data that will be used to build and evaluate the regression model. In this example, we are using the Boston housing data set which is a well known data set in the machine learning community. The Boston housing data set contains information on various attributes of houses in the Boston area such as the crime rate in the neighborhood, the average number of rooms per dwelling, the age of the house, and the median value of owner occupying uh, homes. The dataset contains a total of 506 observations, each with 14 variables. 
The Boston Housing dataset is available in R as part of the mass package, which is a collection of data sets and functions for data analysis and visualization. To assess the dataset in R, the researchers would need to install the mass package and uh, load the dataset into uh, their R environment using the data function. Once we have collected the data, we can um, begin to explore and pre-process the data as described in the next steps of the uh, data science process. By using a well-known and well-documented uh, dataset like the Boston Housing dataset, we can ensure that our analysis is comparable to other studies and that our uh, results are trustworthy. Now third step is to explore the data. The study uses uh, descriptive statistics and visualizations to summarize and explore the dataset such as histograms, scatter plots and uh, co-relation matrices. In the third step of the data science process, we need to explore the data that we have collected in order to gain a better understanding of its characteristics and patterns. This uh, exploration can help identify potential issues with the data, reveal interesting relationship between variables and uh, suggest possible directions for the analysis. To explore the data, we uh, in this example will use descriptive uh, statistics and visualizations. Descriptive statistics are uh, numerical summaries of the data such as mean, median, standard de um, deviation and quartiles. These uh, statistics can help provide a general overview of the data set and can be useful in detecting outliers, skewiness or other unusual uh, features. Visualizations on the other hand are graphical representations of the data. They can provide a more intuitive understanding of the data and can help identify patterns or trends that may not be immediately apparent from the numerical summaries alone. In this example, we use several types of visualizations to explore the Boston housing dataset, such as histograms, scatter plots, and co-relation matrices. By the way, uh, histograms are plots that show the frequency uh, distribution of a variable usually by dividing the range of a variable into bins and uh, counting the number of observations in each bin. Histograms can help reveal the shape of the distribution, the presence of outliers or uh, skewness and the overall range of the variable. While uh, scatter plots are plots that show the re relationship between two variables by plotting the values of one variable on x-axis and the values of the other variable on y-axis. Scatter plots can help uh, reveal the strength and direction of the relationship between the variables as well as the presence of outliers or nonlinear patterns. And correlation matrices are tables that uh, show the pairwise correlations between variables. Correlations can help reveal the strength and direction of the relationships between variables and can be useful in identifying potential uh, multicore linearity issues that may affect the performance of the regression models. By using descriptive statistics and visualizations, we in this example can gain a better understanding of the Boston housing dataset and uh, identify any potential issues that may need to be addressed in the next steps of the data science process. Next step is uh, uh, preparing the data. In this step of the data science process, we need to prepare the data for use in building the regression models. This involves cleaning and pre-processing the data so that it is in a suitable format for analysis. In this example, we clean and pre-process the Boston housing dataset by, by performing several tasks, including uh, removing missing values. Missing values can cause problems for regression models, so it's important to deal with uh, them appropriately. In this case, we remove any observations with missing values rather than trying to impute the missing values. Next, uh, scaling the variables. Scaling the variables can help ensure that they are on a similar scale, which can improve the performance of the regression models. In this example, we use the scale function to standardize the values of the predictive variables so that they have a mean zero and a standard deviation of one. Then creating uh, dummy variables for categorical variables. Some of the variables in the Boston housing dataset are categorical, meaning that uh, they can take on a, a limited number of discrete values. In order to uh, include these variables in the regression models, we create dummy variables 
for each uh, categorical uh, variable this involves creating a binary variable for each uh, level of the categorical variable indicating whether a given observation falls into that level or not by performing these cleaning and pre processing tasks uh, we can ensure that the data is ready to, to use in building the regression models we can now move on to the next uh, steps of the data science process which involve building and evaluating the models in the fifth step of the data science process we build regression models to predict house prices based on the predictive variables regression models are a type of statistical model that can be used to identify relationships between one or more predictive variables and a response variable in this example we built several uh, regression models using the cleaned and pre processed uh, boston housing data set specifically we built a uh, linear regression multiple regression ridge regression and lasso regression models linear regression is a simple regression model that assumes a linear relationship between the predictive variables and the response variable while uh, multiple regression on the other hand extends uh, linear regression by allowing uh, for multiple predictive variables ridge regression and lasso regression are variations of linear regression that add a penalty term to the objective function in order to reduce overfitting to evaluate the performance of these models we use cross validation cross validation is a technique for assessing how well a model generalizes to new data it involves uh, um, splitting the data set into a training set and a validation set and then fitting the model to the training set and evaluating its performance on the on the validation set this process is repeated several times with different splits of the data in order to obtain an estimate of the model's uh, generalization performance by building and evaluating several different uh, regression models using cross validation we can uh, we can identify the model that performs the best at uh, predicting house prices based on the predictive variables we can then use this model to make predictions on new data or to test hypotheses about the relationships uh, between the predictive variables and the response variable in the sixth uh, step of the data science process we evaluate the performance uh, of the regression models that we built in the previous step there are various metrics that can be used to evaluate the performance of regression models and in uh, and in this example we use root mean squared error uh, mean absolute error and r squared root mean squared error and mean uh, absolute error are measures of how well the model predicts the actual house prices root mean squared error measures the average difference between the predicted house prices and the actual house prices and is calculated by taking the square root of the mean squared error mean absolute error is another measure of the average difference between the predicted and actual house prices but it takes the absolute value of the difference rather than squaring it r squared is a measure of how well the model fits the data it indicates the proportion of variance in the response variable that can be explained by the predictive variables an r squared value of 1 uh, indicates a perfect fit while a value of 0 indicates that the model explains uh, none of the variance in the response variable by evaluating the performance of the regression models using these metrics we can assess how well each model predicts house prices based on the predictive variables we can also compare the performance of the different models and use this information to select the best model for their needs in some cases we may also use this matrix to identify areas where the model can be improved or to identify potential issues with the model's assumptions or implementation in the final step of the data science process we will deploy the best performing model to provide predictions for new data we also provide recommendations for how the model should be used in practice in this step we will likely first uh, select the best performing model based on the evaluation matrix from the previous step once we have uh, selected the model we will need to implement it in a production environment so that it can be used to make predictions on new data this may involve integrating the model into an existing software system or building a new system around the model we will also need to provide documentation for end users such as technical documentation Uh, on how the model was built and how to use it as well as user guides and tutorials this 
documentation should be clear, concise and accessible to a wide range of users including those who may not have a technical background. Finally, we may also provide recommendations for how the model should be used in practice such as providing guidelines for how often the model should be retrained or updated or identifying potential limitations or caveats that users uh, should be aware of, uh, of when uh, interpreting the model's predictions. Overall, the goal of deploying the model is to make it easy for end users to use the model to make predictions on new data while also providing them with the necessary information and guidance to interpret the results correctly. That The example that I just explained might be tough for you to understand if you are a beginner. But once uh, we are done with our specialization, this example will seem easy to you. And that's uh, what I want at the end of this specialization for you. Anyways, here's the link to the study on GitHub. If you want to check it out, you can. I will provide the link in today's blog post. I will explain many such examples and walk you through few projects step by step at the end of uh, our data science specialization series to get you started and get you ready for your data science job. Inshallah, tomorrow we will uh, install R and R Studio and give you a quick tour of uh, R Studio environment. So see you in the next lectures.